What's going on guys, it's Swipe here and today I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial. This tutorial is going to be how to sync your movement and your shots to the music. Now, first thing you need to do, import your clip obviously. Now, before you do anything, right click, go down to properties and disable resample. What that does, it, it just disables ghosting in it, um, and it just makes it look a lot nicer. So, once you've uh, imported your clip, import your music. Now, this song is a really good song. I'm, I'm doing an edit to it at the moment so after this upload that edit should be up so you'll be able to see that but anyway <clears throat> get into this right I am um, there's a part of the song where Jesus Christ that was loud <laughs> now to get to the syncing bit you want to right click insert remove envelope and go to velocity and this little line pops up now what you want to do here is well basically I'm using 300 frames per second clips now if you're using 30 frames per second you cannot do this it does not work but if you're using 60 frames or above I'm pretty sure you can do this so as I said insert velocity right click insert remove envelope velocity now you get this line but I like putting it down to 17 because it's a lot smoother and it doesn't go through anything like Twix uh, Twix is absolutely horrible do not use that in a frag edit it's disgusting um, but this it is really smooth it's easy to edit with see how smooth that is and it, look how slow it is and there's no ghost or anything like that so once you've uh, done all that got your velocity in moved it down to 17 or whatever you want it mark out where you want um, the person to either move fast or you just want the cinematic to speed up and slow down this is basically what it's going to be doing so all these up to six are the beats that I want to sync the movement. Now seven is where I went the shot. Alright, so on six I'm gonna split and delete this one. So that's when my shot is gonna come in. Now you want to go to the first beat and go down to the line, double click in front of it and behind it and in the middle. Now you'll see you can move this up or down. Now if you do not, well it depends on what you want to do, but if you want to move it down and experiment, it rewinds. So you see it says minus 72%. <coughs> and if you want it to speed up, obviously move it up. Now I like putting it around 100, but it depends on the speed of the actual clip. So you'll see here, it, it will speed up, look. See that? So I'm going to move this up a little bit because it's really slow. Now do that on all of the markers, so you double click each side and in the middle. You can move these about to kind of clean them up a bit. Now I'm not I'm not going to use this fifth beat because I want there to be a transition here. So let me uh, render this out. Once this is rendered I'll get back to you guys. Yo guys I'm back. Now for some reason it's been a penis and uh, it keeps Basically, if you if you speed up too quick, like this, so watch it, it will replay because obviously it's too fast. So I'm actually going to split here and delete that. So my transition is now going to be here instead of there. So I'll delete these quick. Right now, you'll see. Let me render this out quick. It should be quick. You'll see once this is rendered out, that it speeds up. Um, on the market, so I don't know if you can see that. I'll play that again. If you watch the guy, he speeds up and then slows down again. It's really smooth. Okay, so once you've done, right, basically that's how to sync the movement. You just, if there's a part in the song where you want the movement to uh, sync, put your velocity in, mark it out to double click each side, double click in the middle, move it up or down, whatever you want to do and Bob's your uncle, you're sinking so, now this is, well actually this tutorial is going to be like my transitions as well so this transition I'm going to be doing it's really really simple all you need to do is go to the end of the clip okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit now, double click here this is already done because I was sinking before double click wherever you want and then double click at the end and then move this up and it will speed up when it's getting to the uh, end of the clip so you'll see it speeds right up now insert your other clip which is here make make sure you do disable resample 
put your velocity in again you do this on every single clip 17 now I'm gonna double click there move this one up put them together and now you'll see that um, basically it, it goes really smooth like it speeds up and then speeds up again on the other clip and then slows down again so the transitions really smooth you're not losing any flow so let me show you this quick right. I don't know if you saw that I'll play it again for you right now now I've done that there's a couple of beats here that I want to sync so I will mark out the beats Now I've done that, do the same again as we did before, double click each side, double click in the middle, move that one up, double click there, double click there, move that one up. Right, now you've done that, this is how I sync the shots. Now, normally it just comes together um, randomly when I do it, but this is how I normally do them. Basically you find where you want the shot to be in the song, so I'm going to find that. That's there. Now what you can do is obviously move the velocity up randomly like here and you'll notice the shot should be about there so like I, you just saw me double click wherever and then click there move the velocity around and you'll see it's a shot so there you go I'm synced so basically that that's how I sync and if that's really confusing just comment in the section below and I'll um I'll do another one but yeah, hopefully this tutorial has been okay for you guys. I know it's a bit retarded. I've never really done a proper one before, but just thank you for watching. It's been your boy Swipe. I'll render this out and I'll put it at the end of the video. Peace.